I am Pastor Dele Roshilo, the state overseer of Deeper Life Bible Church, Ogo State. We are bringing to you the program, The Truth, featuring salvation, life, health, happiness, peace, and marriage, including child training and many others. The message is brought to you by Pastor W.F. Kumui, the General Superintendent of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry Worldwide. Happy viewing. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I am blessed. Say that for yourself. God bless you. You can see now we're coming to 1 Samuel chapter 30. 1 Samuel chapter 30. And I'm reading from verse 6. And David was greatly distressed. For the people spake of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the effort. And Abiathar brought thither the effort to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue. Tonight, pursue. Yeah. You will overtake them. Yeah. You will recover everything. Yeah. For thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail, recover all. I thought you'd say, Amen. Amen. Recovery what we have lost brings joy, brings new life. When you recover what you have lost, it brings a new drive in your life, a new determination. If I got this, I'm going to get more. It brings a sense of fulfillment and a source of inner strength. Brings courage to begin life all over again. And you understand that abundant life is going to begin afresh. I just read to you about David and his men. They lost everything that was precious to them. That brought sorrow, brought distress emptiness discouragement came their disorientation there was inner turmoil and there was total exhaustion but then just wishing i wish i could have all that doesn't solve the problem david went to god in prayer and he said lord look at my circumstance Look at my situation. What do I do now? Should I pursue them? If I pursue them, will I overtake them? If I overtake them, will I recover everything from the least to the greatest? And God answered. God is good to answer you tonight. And he said, pursue one. Then he said, you will overtake them too. And what can we do now? We're helpless. We're hopeless. They're taking everything away. No. He said, I have a God in heaven. I will talk to that God in heaven. Whatever is happening to you tonight, Whatever has happened to you before tonight, we have a God in heaven. We're going to talk to that God on your behalf. Yeah. This thing you have lost must come back. 
your blessing must come back the totality of everything that has gone out of your life everything must flow back into your life in jesus name no part of your life no part of your family no part of your possession will be in the hands of the enemy and tonight is your night don't look now i want to catch your face there i said tonight is your night a night of total recovery where are you where are you a night of total recovery you have cried enough you have been sorrowful enough the times of dejection and the times of regret why am i here in life that is enough now everything is going to turn around joy has come Latter has come abundance has come david prayed david pursued david prevailed and david recovered all i'm talking about you tonight you are that david tonight as you pray as i pray an explosion will take place in your life the dynamite of heaven the bulldozer from heaven the caterpillar that will take all that mountain away that thing is going to clear away i said that thing is going to clear away because as we pray we're going to prevail tonight and everything lost in your life in your family in your business in your christian experience you got it tonight i'm reading from second kings chapter five second kings chapter five and i'm reading from verse one second kings chapter five verse one now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of syria was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the lord had given deliverance unto syria he was also a mighty man in valor but 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 he was a leper all the victories became nothing all the triumph became nothing look at the man riches wealth popularity national position national whatever but he was a leper and the syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of israel a little maid and she waited on naaman's wife and she said unto her mistress would god my lord my master what was the prophet that is in samaria would god i wish that my master will get to the prophet in samaria ah i wish you get to the prophet in bagada i said i wish you get to the prophet in bagada are you there today where are you today ah recovery has come i said recovery has come in verse 3 for he would recover him of his leprosy incurable disease will vanish away that mountain of a problem mountain of a sickness will vanish away tonight in jesus name leprosy will vanish away cancer will vanish away blindness will vanish away that hunchback will vanish away tonight and all those problems have been carrying about and it's a reproach a reproach a reproach upon your life tonight everything will vanish away in jesus name 
Look at verse 4. And one went in and told this Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is in the land of Israel. And then it goes on to say, And the king of Syria said, Go to, go. I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed, and he took with him ten talents of silver, and six thousand pieces of gold, and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now, when the letter, when this letter is come to you, behold, I have there with Saint Naaman, my servant, to thee, that's to the king, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. Did they send him to the king or to the prophet? Let me hear you. And then he went to who? He made a mistake. But all the same, you see at the end of the story, that mistake was nullified. Whatever mistake you have made, and you go this way, instead of going this way, you are still coming back to the place you ought to be. Recovery will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. Verse 7, and it came to pass when the king of Israel read the letter that he read his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive that this man does send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel with me. The scene almost turned to another war, but there's no war. I said there's no war. You led your place and you came to Samaria. I thank God the problem is solved. I said you left your place and you came here tonight. What are you? Are you there? The problem is solved. Verse 8. And it was so. When Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had raised his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore, as thou raised thy clothes, let him come now to me, and ye shall know. Somebody there tonight will know. And he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses, big man, VIP, and with his chariot, and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan. Tell me seven times and thy flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be clean and thou shalt be clean but Naaman was wrath, angry and went away and said behold I thought it's not what you think I said it's not what you think I thought they'll rub oil on me, no problem. I thought they would lay hands on me, no problem. And you find somebody there that is angry, no problem. After the anger, the miracle will come. Yeah. It's having wrong thought. I thought this is what they will do. And then he said, let's go back home. No, you are not going back home without recovery. Yeah. You must get it tonight. And then he said, I thought it will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of his of the name of the Lord is God and strike his hand over that place and recover the leper and not a banner 
a papa don't mind all the arguments after all the arguments miracle will come don't mind all the wrong reasoning after the wrong reasoning miracle will come don't mind the thought that is going on in your mind how about this how about that? don't mind all that after all those thoughts that is uh, struggling in your mind your miracle will come and not a banner and farpa rivers of damascus better than all the waters of israel may i not wash in them and be clean so he turned and went away in a rage that doesn't cancel the solution the solution is coming i said the solution is coming i look at you tonight whatever you do whether you stand up or you sit down or you put your head on the ground or you put your legs up tonight tonight you will not live here without a miracle tonight is the night of your recovery all those problems are going to be wiped away tonight and whatever happens and whatever does not happen whatever you do whatever you don't do before you go out of that gate today miracle upon your life look at verse 13 and his servants came near and spake unto him and said my father if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing wouldest thou not have done it how much more rather than when he says to thee wash and be clean then this then will happen in your life then went he down and did himself tell me seven times in jordan according to the saying of the man of god and his flesh came again are you seeing the house and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child and he was clean and he was clean and you are clean and you are healed Naaman was an incredible leper sick ashamed despised depressed unhappy he needed total recovery he did not waste away in idle inaction he took the journey as i heard he acted on the information he sought divine remedy he corrected his wrong attitude his wrong thinking and eventually you beach and you had total recovery tell the person by your side that's my story i have it tonight i have it tonight remedy recovery total healing deliverance has come upon your life tonight in jesus name tonight i'm talking to you on the spiritual dynamics of total recovery the spiritual dynamics of total recovery they say there's dynamics in this there is a kind of kinetics in this there is some kind of movement you know this happens that happens and that happens dynamics in your life tonight and it's going to happen number one the promise of total recovery from all sicknesses the promise of total recovery from all sicknesses point number two the pursuit of total recovery of lost strength the pursuit of total recovery of lost strength the energy you have lost thank god you're going to regain it today something new is coming tonight life is coming tonight power is coming tonight the pursuit of total recovery of lost strength number three the prayer somebody help me shout the prayer are you there i say shout the prayer the prayer for total recovery by every supplicant every supplicant that is somebody making supplication 
somebody making petition somebody saying i will not live here today until this miracle happens are you hearing me i will not live here today until this recovery has taken place thank god it will not be long it will come upon your life the prayer for total recovery by every supplicant number one the promise god has given you a promise i said god has given you a promise of total recovery from all sicknesses look at those sicknesses tonight you will not see them anymore after this meeting exodus 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 chapter 15 i'm reading from verse 26 and said if thou will diligently hack to the voice of the lord your god somebody there tonight is hearing the voice of god and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandment and keep all the statutes i will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the egyptians every form of sickness you hear about anybody in the world in egypt will not come upon you yeah. any sickness there ask yourself is there an egyptian somewhere there that has this if you discover it is belonging to the egyptian you are not an egyptian you are the israel of god you say pack your loot and go you didn't say it you just said amen pack your loot and go and then god said in verse uh, in the latter part there for i am the lord that he lets thee do you see present tense two times there i am i am i am and that great i am that i am has not changed and he said that he lets thee that means tonight is going to happen i said it's going to happen psalm 103 psalm 103 i'm reading from verse 1 psalm 103 and we're reading from verse 1 here he tells us psalm 103 reading from verse 1 bless the lord oh my soul others have been praising the lord it's now your turn you'll praise the lord others have been singing it's now your turn you will sing others have been giving testimony now it's your turn you will give testimony bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives how many iniquities who forgives how many iniquities all thine iniquities all thine iniquities where is the person the lord is talking to you all those uh, condemnations everything will vanish away tonight and then look at the next part there who healers tell me who healers make it personal now who healers all my diseases look at verse 4 who redeemest thy life from destruction ah you're free i said you're free who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth whose mouth i said whose mouth who satisfies thy mouth with good things ah evil will pass you by yokes will pass you by causes will pass you by calamity will pass you by all those powers of darkness as they came they will go tonight so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles your youth renewed like the 
eagles i'm looking at jeremiah chapter 33 jeremiah chapter 33 i'm reading from verse 3 jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 call unto me and i will answer thee any answer tonight any miracle tonight any healing tonight any provision from heaven tonight call upon me call unto me and i will answer thee and show thee and show thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not you will see what you have never seen you will experience what you have never experienced i am sure you are blessed you can contact us through any of the phone numbers displayed on the screen. However, you can visit us at any of our church locations in the state. In particular, the church state headquarters located at Sam Ewang Estate, Leme Abeokuta. Our fellowships hold on Sundays, 8 a.m. for the Sunday worship service, on Mondays, for the expository and systematic study of the Bible. On Thursdays, 6 p.m. for Miracle and Revival Hour. See you same time, same station, next week. Remain blessed.